Yes, it's a show-stopping performer who's been at home for the last eight seasons as a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Last year, she took up a new residency in Las Vegas, and now the story behind it is being told for the special Erica Jane Bet It All on Blonde. Please welcome Erica Jane! Yesterday, of course, was the Oscars, where we celebrate incredible performances. Erica, you are a part of uh, uh, acting history, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, my God. <laughs> Erica, you, listen to this, everybody. You were the very first victim on the very first yeah. episode of Law and what? Order. This is Yes, this is true, 1989, I had, it was October of 1989, I had just graduated high school in June and moved to New York to follow my dreams, and yes, I auditioned and died on the couch, and the director was like, you got the job, and there it is. <laughs> mind-blowing, right? I, that's legendary, like, yeah, that's It's mind kind of blowing. insane. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> How do you audition to uh, perish? <laughs> or, or... I, I, the meeting literally was like, hi, you know, my name is, I, God, I, can't, forget, I can't remember his name. I'm so very sorry. It's okay. And he was like, lay down here and you're going to, um, so she dies. So why don't you just like convulse a little? <laughs> I promise you. And I said, oh, okay. And I laid down and I, uh, and I got the job. Was that here we are. <laughs> um, I love it. Now, Erica, I know you're a theater kid like me. Yes. Um, who inspired you to cross over into music? Ah, uh, oh, thanks. Look at you. So when I was in musical theater, I was about 14, and I went to the Virgin Tour, Madonna's very first show, oh, and yeah. I saw pop music being married with musical theater aspects, and I said, that's what I want to do. And I've never stopped, and I'm going to the concert tonight. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. And you just released on Friday uh, a new song called Bounce. Yes. So what's the inspiration behind it? Well, this was like for the fans that have supported Woo! me. It's a club record. That's what I do, dance music. You know, I just want you to go have a good time. And uh, Bounce was for the fans. And so. Yeah. Love it. Um, all right, going over to uh, your other show, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This week is the third and final reunion episode. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how are we feeling after this season? Uh, Jerry, after the last two seasons, I feel amazing because it was yeah. so hard. It was so brutal. So I had a really nice time, and I'm in good shape. You know, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, is it uh, uh, going through the reunion episodes? Is it is it sort of like is it cathartic? Is it exhausting? Is it all the above? Both. I mean, I think that it really kind of depends on what type of season you've had. For me, this was a very positive swing, so I was far more relaxed. Other times, when you have a hard time personally or something, you can feel it's a, it's a day. Look, it's not a good day. If you're having fun at the reunion, you're not really doing your job because right. it's supposed to be a little, you know. Anxiety ridden. <laughs> yeah, a little, little anxiety. Um, one of your, uh, one of your co-housewives, Kyle Richards, is sort of going through something similar that you went through. Yeah. Are you guys there for each other? Of course. I mean, Kyle is a friend of mine, um, on television and off television, and it's very difficult to go through. Look, it's hard to do the show. Your life is entertainment, and then when your life breaks apart, it can be even. You know, it. it hurts double time. So, yeah. of course, I'm just going to be there for her. Yeah. Uh, um, let me just explain to people who, I mean, if there are people who aren't watching Beverly Hills, uh, Kyle is going through a uh, separation, and yeah. you went through a separation, and um, I just wanted to clear that up yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Marriage. Marriage. <laughs> marriage. The old marriage problems, yeah. Yeah. Now, so now you're a single girl. Are you dating again? I mean, I, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What qualities are we looking for, Erica? What do we need from Someone a partner? Someone not indicted, I'll tell you that. You know, just somebody that's actually re really just a nice person. And I am yeah. 
I like intelligent men. Mm. I like somebody that mm. we can actually talk to and have a good time. Yes. You know, and, and I like to smile good. and laugh. Yes, yes. That's so interesting. My, uh, my wife, when we met, said she really likes dumb guys. <laughs> And um, that's why it's last. No, actually, no. you know what? You guys, uh, I mean, I'm sorry to pry. You yeah. guys are both single. I mean, hey. if I walked in a bar, you two were there. I would Erica. be like, who are those two? We may two? have to double. The blogs, I mean, we could, we could the go out. We might need to go out. We, we could go out and hit the town blogs anytime you want. I will go with you any day of the week. Okay. I also love intelligent men. So yeah. here we go. Yeah. <laughs>